Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a Cole Banker Dan Harper Realtor. Well, today I'm back at Bell Oaks, the beautiful one acre community in Bolverde, Texas, located just off Blanco Road near Highway 46 in the Texas Hill Country. Now I'm out here because the house behind me is a custom home built by Artisan Custom Homes. That's gonna be their model home, but it's on the market right now for 1.375. And the reason that's important is you have an opportunity to get into this house at today's interest rates, but these guys are gonna to want to do a one year lease back. So if you're not in a rush to move into a house, but wanna get something under contract, this is your opportunity. Anyways, this house is just over 4,000 square feet. It is four bedrooms, three and a half bath. Let's go check it out. We are in the model home section of Bell Oaks, kind of close to uh, Blanco Road. If you notice the green, that's the zip system. I love it in homes and this custom home builder does use it. Sorry, there's gonna be a little bit of background noise, but I do love this community for uh, great schools. It does go to Smith and Valley High School. Make sure you look that up, it is a wonderful school. And this little community located between New Brumfels and Bernie, it is really up and coming. I know there is a new HEB, which is our really great grocery store. It's gonna be just uh, about two miles down the road from us. They've just announced plans to build it. I don't have a timeline for you, but also you have access to the Guadalupe River State Park, which I absolutely love. Anyways, let's go check out the inside of this home. It is under construction, as you can see. So use your imagination a little bit. They expect this house to be finished in about two months. The reason I'm doing this video is because this is kind of where homes are selling at nowadays. All right, let's head on the side. Gonna have beautiful double metal, metal doors. Like I said, this is under construction, so bear with me. But you can see right when you come in, you can have some super tall ceilings. Loving this uh, space. You can see they're gonna have a fireplace there with the electronic pass-through for um, your TV. Now, I was just meeting with the owner and he seems like a really great guy, but he wanted to point out that this has a level five finish on it. Check, it is completely smooth as far as I can tell, and very few builders take the time to put that much effort in their uh, wall surface. You are gonna hear some noise. We are in a construction zone but this is gonna be a beautiful kitchen. And I like to love the tall cabinetry. It's gonna be your breakfast nook area. And something else that they're doing with this house, you don't see too much anymore. It's gonna have the whole house vacuum. And I'll show you more of that when we get into the garage. Something you have to point out because it's hard to see behind all this plastic, but this is going to have the whole wall door where it can kind of accordion open up. That's usually anywhere between a twenty to thirty thousand dollar upgrade. That's going to be in this house. But on beautiful days, you can open it up and bring the outside more in. Big open patio area. We can see we got doors to both sides all around this house. We do have 46 just over that direction, and there's no guarantees that this little oak grove will still be here. So as this build process continues, things do change. But this is on, I have to, I have to check my paper, but I think it's close to two acres. Sorry, let me get with my watch. Another spam call's coming through. All right, I had to deny that. These spam calls are driving me nuts. All right, beautiful home so far. You can see they are gonna be doing the uh, outlets in ground. Absolutely love that, because especially if you're looking for putting uh, electric plug-in couches. Looks like, well, here's we're gonna have a refrigerator, pantries. I'm gonna show off this, uh, got the mud room here. There's where the mudroom's gonna be. And this is gonna be your laundry room. I'm gonna try to block the sound so hopefully you can hear, but yeah, good size laundry room. 
There's a guy working on the rock. But this is more like a two and a half car garage. You can see we are gonna have a gas water heater going in. And uh, he mentioned that there is gonna be a, that in-home vacuum cleaner. You can have an attachment for just vacuuming out your car right here in the garage. So that's gonna be very cool. All right, I do plan to come back and do another video of this house as it gets further along under construction. Ooh, okay. I see they're gonna be doing a microwave down low. Hopefully it's gonna be a top loaded microwave because y'all know I love those. All right, we're gonna have the additional bedrooms back here. It's gonna be uh, a powder room. Just kind of look at the plumbing. There's your powder room kind of around the corner where we want it to be and this looks like a game room area if i had to guess i'm pretty sure it is uh, and looking up there looks like there's a spot to plug in a projector and wow this would make an amazing movie room especially if you're able to put some top barn doors up there to kind of block it out and wow you i, I i'm a big movie room buff but wow, you could do some amazing stuff with some speakers there. You would have to put some blackout curtains, but that's not hard to do. So you can use this as a regular, just watching sporting games, or if you wanted to go big with a projector, you could do that. You will have options. But now we're coming into this bedroom, which is a perfect bedroom for your long-term guest. And the reason is because they're gonna have a good sized closet you're a little bit separated from everybody else, but not too far. And they'll have their own bathroom. So if you've got an extended stay person coming in, they will have access to their own shower, bathroom, and a little, little spot in the house all to themselves. Coming back here, we can have another bedroom. Oh, this bedroom's got its own bathroom as well. So it looks like most of these bedrooms, uh, okay, I take that back. This bedroom is gonna be sharing a shower, but kind of like in the fewer, I'm prior military, so you will have your own sink and vanity space, but then you come through this door here and you will share a toilet, bathtub, and a standing shower. And then we have the other, um, sink and vanity for this room. So it's kind of a hybrid Jack and Jill because you will have your own sink, but you'll just share the tub and toilet. So both of these rooms are gonna have really good sized closets. So that's very nice. And that's gonna be it for these two rooms. So now this room here is one I just walked into and came out the other one. And then you have potential guest bedroom or if you have that older kiddo that has earned being able to have their own bathroom, there you go. Coming by the powder room, your living space. Like I said, this house is gonna have some amazing lighting all around here. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how this house turns out. But let's go check out this wing of the house. This is really neat. The, uh, light than the window feature there. All right. We have a closet right there. This is, would be the office. And they've done a really nice job. Very seldom do I get to see the ceiling at this stage because it's usually already all um, finished in, sheetrocked in. But we're in the early stage. They haven't done all the taping and floating on this just yet but you will have a wonderful view looking out the front of the house. And this is a perfect size office. Or you can have your desk over here, however you want to do it, to where you can see people coming in or out of your room. So with work from home being so popular, you have to have a good office now. But it also leads right into the owner suite. And let me tell you, this is a spacious owner suite. Lots of can lighting already in place. 
You're gonna have access to your back porch entertainment area. There's like this lots and lots of space in this room. Let's check out, see if we can get an idea for what the bathroom's gonna look like. Now this is not a bathroom. I believe this is the closet. So, wow, this is gonna be one massive closet. So you're gonna have windows for additional lighting, more windows there. And this can be really nice if this is a, it does look like that's gonna be the closet because this is the restroom. You have dual vanities, your little makeup set space right there, and the car wash type shower. Mud inset, not say car wash because you can kind of go in one side. It's gonna have dual heads up here and uh, looks like another wand feature there on the side. So it's got places for your shampoo bottles. It can be really nice shower. And uh, okay, that should be a, I think that's a sink, right? No, this is probably your bathtub. Yeah, that's gonna be a bathtub right here. Because you're gonna have your water closet tucked away on the back side here. So it looks like they have a soaking tub and a big wash, car wash shower and uh, nice light fixtures, I'm sure can be put in here. Now I was chatting with the owner, uh, Gabriel, for quite a bit, maybe a little too much because I get a little talkative, but he seems like a great guy and it really takes pride in getting to know his owners the people he's building for, and I'm gonna try to do a home builder interview with him soon, uh, but I wanna wait till this house gets finished. Because yeah, I like when I meet people that I want to promote, and he definitely seems like the type of owner I wanna promote, so. Cause yeah, so far I'm really liking a lot of stuff about this home. They do own a lot that they're gonna be building on here in Bell Oaks. So if you like, if you're look shopping for a builder, um, artist and home should be on your list of homes to check out. And especially since they've already got a lot here in Bell Oaks that they can build on, that's gonna save you a lot of time because finding lots in Bell Oaks right now is extremely hard because they are in such demand. So finding one that a builder already owns is a great way to go. All right, that's gonna wrap the tour of this soon-to-be model home by Artisan Custom Homes in the beautiful community of Bell Oaks in Bolverde, Texas. Now, I kinda like the idea of buying a house now for 2021 interest rates, because we do know that interest rates are gonna start ticking up, especially at the end of the year and on through 2022. So being able to lock in a house now at today's interest rates, not a bad idea. And well, to be honest, if you did have just a lot here in Bell Oaks, it's probably gonna take you at least six months before you're able to break ground to start building your own home. That could be a 12 month build process. So this really isn't a bad looking option. And if it does look like a good option for you, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is gonna be on the final screen. And as always, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and share these videos with your friends. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care now, bye.